Barrett Jackson's all about people's expectations and blowing them away. As we celebrate 50 years of the world's greatest collector car auctions, selling the Batmobile has to be one of those pinnacles for multitudes of reasons. The way that when we consigned the car, George Barris saying what he thought it was worth, what we thought it was worth, and then what experts thought it was worth, uh, were big gaps. Then as we brought it to the auction, you know, some of the people saying, well, maybe it's overhyped, maybe it's not worth what they think it is, but I gotta say, one of those great moments leading into it, as it came into the room, as we put the bat symbol up on the ceiling and we killed the lights and we made it look like the star and had this theme to Batman and having George Barris sit up on top of it like he's Muhammad Ali coming in for the heavyweight championship of the world, Linda Vaughn coming in dressed as the Catwoman. As it rolled in, we had a security guard to stop everybody at the door and you watch the video and you see him being yeah, just like a wave. part of the mob brought him into the building. Everybody came in. The excitement and Bob Varsha saying, well, I thought that the Batmobile was overhyped. And I got to say, I, got, I stand corrected. The response that the Batmobile has had and then going into the bidding on it. And Steve and I, from our vantage point, we couldn't see what was happening because the amount of people that came in you couldn't see the two bidders. How often in that sea of people do you end up with two bidders, one sitting in front of the other, turn around and go $2 million eye to eye, back to back, both of them saying, I'm not stopping until I hit $10 million. The ringman trying to separate them. Again, we couldn't see this. We had to change our systems after that so we could actually see what's actually happening when that happened. But it was unprecedented in so many ways, and then ending it by flipping a coin as to who's going to be the buyer. <laughs> and the guy that had the high bid lost the car, but he came out to the post interview. He said, I wanted to buy it because it's a one of one, but you know, I'm a man of my word. We flipped a coin and I lost. So Steve, I know consigning it with George, and I went over there and met with George. You're like, you got to go walk him down a little bit, and he keeps wanting to raise the price of the car as the hype comes up. No, let's all get back to reality. We're going to sell it, George. It's going to be an unbelievable moment. Yeah, I think the dynamic forces that were in play there were really phenomenal because you had the unknown of what the car's actually worth. You have this icon that's, that's, that's known by virtually everybody. And then you have this wild card of who exactly is going to bid on this car and, and what is that number going to be. And regarding consignment, Craig, as you'll remember, that was literally years in the making. Mm -hmm. uh, we had talked about that. We would get right on the cusp of pulling the trigger and decide, oh, well, I think I'm going to wait. And I think for George and Joji and the family, that was a big decision to bring the car to Barrett-Jackson, not, not just as it relates to what potentially the car is going to bring, but they were absolutely emotionally bonded with that car. It represented a big part of George's professional life with all of the success he had in Hollywood, being an incredible customizer, a beautiful family. It was a family uh, operation with, with his daughter, uh, his, his grandson, his, 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 his relatives actually working day to day. And what an amazing moment to see it all play out on the stage at Barrett Jackson, that crush of humanity, literally, as Craig said, a wave of, of humanity just coming towards the auction block. Linda Vaughn with her Catwoman mm -hmm. uh, outfit and, and all of the excitement. Again, it was, it was a heavyweight championship fight in every respect. And again, the Beatles may have been playing, but guess what? They were back there somewhere. Everybody was watching the Batmobile and the magic happened. And when it was done to this day, I don't, I don't go anywhere with, with a large crowd of people in a car-related uh, environment and not have the Batmobile come up on some level. You know, we said what we thought it would bring. There were experts saying, and I said, well, it started life as a one-off Ford concept exactly. car. Take all the Batmobile stuff off of it. It's still a two to three million dollar car. Now it's an icon. Yeah. And you got to add to that price. That was our logic on it. Oh, well, no, well, what's your price guide say? It's worth 225. I think you're off a touch. <laughs> Check it out. It's a great moment. Piece of Barrett Jackson history. One of the greatest moments on the auction block ever. Pure Americana, Craig. Absolutely. If you want to put Americana in the dictionary, 
and have a car associated with it. It's the Batmobile on the stage at Barry Jackson. the most recognized and the most popular piece of entertainment history ever, the Batmobile, a cultural icon in every way. And look at the interest here. Look at this. What car right, in the world can do this? The Batmobile, that's what car can do this. Give him one more round of applause. George Barris, the man that's done so much for all of us, so much great fun, entertainment, Absolutely beautiful. This car was born as a Futura Lincoln show car, concept car. The DNA of this car is incredible. And George, this represents so much to you, my friend. Tell us about it and why it's so great and why we're here today. Wow. All I can say is one big thing. Thanks to all of you out there. You made our, our world famous. I gotta thank you. And I'm telling you, there's only one group that can bring out the Batmobile in history, and that's the Barrett Jackson group. Yeah. Barrett Jackson and the best number one auction company in the world. Look what you've done here, George. This is absolutely amazing. Look, it, it, this is amazing? Look at this. I want to tell you that I am very fortunate to be one of the young guys that started customizing way back in the 50s. To be a benefit to come and bring the Batmobile here is thrilled. First time in history to bring the number one car for you to enjoy. That's what we want for you people to enjoy. Ah. Another group, my family and friends, my daughter, my son, my grandson, everybody, you gotta say, we got a great family. And that's one of the reasons why we're here. Don't help me. Let me tell you a little bit about this Batmobile that you don't know. You know how to become a Batmobile? Because I went to 20th Century Fox with Zosier and he wanted a Batmobile. Now, how else can we make a Batmobile that would be a Batman? And that was because he had on his script, pow, bang, wow, we. That means Adam West and Burt Ward, they were stars that did things. So I had the Batmobile do the same. Pow, we had rocket tubes come out of the rocket. Out of the back end come chain slicers. Out of the front came oil squirters. That means I made the Batmobile become a star. And that's why it's so important today is the first car that became a star. So we're so thankful that all of us have it. And you, Craig, George, Steve. save a little bit, brother. Ah. Take a breath. Take a breath. Right. Take a breath. Right. You're <laughs> right. Two hours, George. Let's, right, let's start yeah, selling. Before the first bid is lodged, yeah, let me this, confess, we're, we're I've been saying all week we're, we're making brother. too big a oh, deal out of the We can't deal. see the car here. Let's just all move dead. back a little bit from the car. Let's go just a little bit. We also, this happened with the future line. If too many people are up here, we can't see the bidders. Five here, David, a hundred thousand dollars bid. Have it a two, have it a two, 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 two,
One more time, the cool things about this so we can get some more money for you. I tell you what, I want to stop the auction. Whoever gets this Batmobile, I'm going to give him my Batman coat off my chest, off my body. Here. Whoever. Ever. This is history right now.
everybody go. I didn't hear y'all. <laughs> four million two, four million three, go on once. Four million Back two, up, Casey. four million three, go on Back twice. Up, everybody. Four million two, four million three, Back up. four million three, four million three, third and last call in the advance. Four million three, four million three and a half. Is that it? Four million two, four million three. It's been an honor dealing with you. Steve, we worked on this for and three years. With the I know you're gonna miss your favorite car. Was it what you thought it would be selling the Batmobile? We're not gonna miss that favorite car. Whoever got it, they're gonna be part of the family, as we well know. Thanks to you, Steve and Greg, I'm telling you, mostly all you people that made the best show I've ever had. Thank you all. You were all part of history here. Yes, that was another Barrett Jackson moment. Well, I guess the guy that said it was only worth two hundred thousand dollars was wrong. What just happened? Fatty Arbuckle, Virgil Exner, and Atari Bugatti together couldn't get $4.2 million out of this crowd of bidders. But George Barris and Batman did it.